What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Hogwarts Legacy a little bit more at the Game Awards, because I just kind of want to talk about some of the exterior things that I am wondering about with this game, and what do I mean by that? Well, basically, I kind of want to talk about what could be shown, if they do show it, and do they need a release date or not? That's really the big thing that kind of uh, sprung into my mind. So, you know, again, I, I'm actually recording this right after the uh, nominations or nominees came out for the Game Awards. <laughs> it's actually uh, my distinct uh, displeasure or, uh, you know, something that's just not good to tell you that uh, it was not nominated for the <laughs> most anticipated game of next year. Maybe that's because nobody has any hope or any uh, idea that the game is even releasing next year. But no, I, I really think it should have made that list, by the way. It should have been on the list of most anticipated, um, but obviously uh, it was not. So, I, again, Actually, let me say this. I don't think that means one way or the other. Like, it's not going to be there. It's not going to be shown. I just think that other games got the, the nominees ahead of it. That's all. So, you know, if they show it, right? We talked about that last week or maybe a week or two weeks ago in terms of, like, will it be there? So the thing is, right, we're getting very, very close. Now we're, like, less than three weeks away. What exactly would they show? I want actually how long it's going to be. So what I would imagine it would be some sort of gameplay trailer. Um, We did get in a way, gameplay in the trailer, the very first trailer, right? But I, I mean more of like a distinct gameplay, like what you would imagine a gameplay trailer being. I, I And I've said this before, but I do want to make like a bigger point or like ramble on it a little bit more here. I am, I actually would be kind of disappointed in that, not because like we're getting it, like that's actually exciting, but uh, maybe in like a selfish way, I would want more. I think the th even the thing I said right all the way back last year, I think with the way that that first trailer was organized, like what they showed, what they didn't show, I feel like this game was really set for some sort of gameplay presentation as like the next thing. And that's just, you know, that's just my opinion. And not every game even does that. In fact, very few games, now that I think about it, would actually, you know what I mean? Maybe around like an E3 time, like that would be the time where you just see like a long extended gameplay. So I guess it does happen, but it depends on when it happens, right? So, you know, and some games maybe don't. Some games maybe just jump the gun. In fact, even like God of War Ragnarok, right? The first trailer, the first official like real long trailer was a very heavy mix of story and gameplay. I believe it's called like their story trailer, but it really showed both and it was like half and half. So, you know, and can they satisfy that with Hogwarts Legacy or could they do the same thing for it? Yeah, I think, I think honestly, if you look and I'll play it, you know, we'll, we'll watch it. You guys will be watching it as you're listening. I think if they did what God of War Ragnarok did for its first trailer, but Hogwarts' second trailer, I'd actually be incredibly fine with that. Um, I do eventually, and as I've said many, many times, right, I eventually want some sort of gameplay thing, showcase, because I think even, I mean, in a trailer, if you do focus like God of War did on like half and half, you can get a lot from that. You can, you can get a ton, but I feel like if they just show like, uh, like Gotham Knights, then you go to Gotham Knights, right? What did they do at DC Phantom last year? Like they showed a very extended thing, which, you know, weirdly enough for Gotham Knights didn't actually show all that much. I feel like for Hogwarts, we would get a lot more like context clues as to what's going on and and you would kind of learn oh this is how the system works or this is how house points works or this is how magic you know like you, we we would learn i think a ton from just like a sit down they're narrating over it and you're playing like a long extended thing i just don't and again as i've said like i don't think that's happening at the game awards there's a i would say like a zero i wouldn't even say there's like a small chance i'd say there's a zero percent chance something of that length like a five to ten minute thing would happen at the Game Awards. I think we would get like a three, three and a half minute trailer that would probably be a blend of like a story thing. And because like the first trailer was more of like a setup, you know what I mean? It was a setup to the game, a setup to just announcing it. But we really didn't get, and I guess we got a little story, right? A little bit, but not really. If you think about it, we don't, you know, even based off of what they uh, told us in like the synopsis or on their website, right? We really don't have, we have like a paragraph worth, uh, a little bit more, but I mean, really it's not a lot. So uh, I think you can convey a lot more in a, you know, a story trailer that also has a good amount of game. Play. So that's what I would expect. I'd expect like a three, three and a half minute max trailer that would show mainly story elements. There'd be a lot of talking. There'd be a lot. Maybe we, I think they'd have to show a lot more uh, and like different things than they showed in the first trailer, but also maybe some actual not 
you know, because we did see gameplay, but it was still uh, from the angle of, like, a cinematic lens. You know what I mean? It wasn't like you're actually in it. Again, think God of War's trailer. Like, they showed literal moments where you're in it. You, you know, the, the uh, like, everything on the screen isn't there. You know what I mean? They, they took every, they took, like, the map or they took the weapon. And I'm saying this for Hogwarts, right? You would take the map off. You would take the weapons off. but Or, like, the, I don't know, like, a control pad for the spells. Those things wouldn't be on the screen, but it would still look exactly as if you're playing it in the moment, not from, like, a, a, a camera that looks like it's a cinematic thing, which is how the first trailer uh, was done, which makes sense. Now, in terms of the release date, right, do you do that? Now, we talked about it before, but again, to make a bigger deal of it now, I think it depends on when the game comes out. It depends on how bold they are. Everybody's different, as we've seen. Some studios are more, some studios are less. Uh, obviously, like Bethesda with Starfield being very confident this past June to announce that Starfield comes out next November and to give the actual date. That is one of the most rare things, especially especially in the last like two to four years that's like the most rare thing we've ever seen okay so i uh, and that's the thing and you could say well, what does that have to do with it well you know if, if hogwarts does get shown right december 9th if it comes out say next november at the latest at the latest do you, you know that's 11 months do you give a release date i would say no i would say based off of everything we've seen with every game that is not starfield and you look at like play even like some playstation stuff like god of war you still don't actually know the release date, which is actually kind of surprising. Horizon you do, but it's coming out, uh, you know, mid-February, so you kind of have to, right? It depends. It depends on the studio, but I feel like the way that they've handled the not wanting to show us or talk about anything Hogwarts-related, I feel like you're going to keep it where, and, and I have said it, and I really do want this, please, for the love of God, at least give us, like, a window. To me, it's very disheartening when you don't get that you know what i mean when when gotham knights was at dc phantom and suicide squad and i believe suicide squad gave the year again 2022 which is like oh thanks that's just you know the entire year you have to play with and then gotham knights didn't give anything it's like oh well actually no i think that gave 2022 as well it's like jesus like can you not give like a month or a season and of course there'll be the people that crawl out from under the rock and tell me alex you can't demand things you can't want things in the world they'll give you the game when it's ready i've heard it a thousand times before i'm kind of done with it but you know i uh, i'm not demanding the game tomorrow but i feel like if you know if you know or you think it's going to come out next fall, just say fall 2022. If it's pushed past then, whatever. But at this point, just give people something for the love of God. You know what I mean? So I, I think uh, I think giving a season or I don't really think a month, honestly. Months kind of don't happen. Months had happened, but over the last couple of years, they really stopped. But I do remember, I mean, there, there was a time where games would do that. You know what I mean? But I, I really don't think they're going to do it anymore. So I don't think they're going to say like October 2022. I think they would say fall 20 or holiday 2022. So that's what I'm hoping. Um, if it comes out first half of the year, like right after Fantastic Beast 3, right? Like in April, May, June. May, then uh, then I think you're looking at it. I, re I mean, that would be like the ultimate Christmas gift to us, right? Right before, like three weeks before Christmas. That would be epic. But uh, I, I'm honestly, I'm going to still stick with like November or maybe even er er early December next year is when I think the game's coming out. And so because of that, if they do show it this year, which I do think they will at the Game Awards, I have a good feeling about it. Uh, I, I don't think they'll they'll give a specific date. And if they do, uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll shake somebody's hand. I'll try and find somebody that works there. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. I'll keep covering it. You know, we'll have a couple other videos the next couple of weeks. And then I'll be co-streaming the Game Awards. So I'll be watching it live. If you guys want to watch it with me, it's going to be a blast. I'm very very excited for it so we'll do that on december 9th okay if you guys want to follow me on twitter or subscribe to my second channel or support us on patreon or youtube memberships links for them all are in the description below thank you for watching guys and i'll see you all on the next video